I wanted to make a robot out of the kit that you guys saw earlier. So I made this and I'm really proud of this guy right here. This is all printed in one piece and rotating, I don't know, axle that I printed in place. This whole thing printed in one piece. I think it's just cool. So cool. Okay, so it's a pretty crappy robot, I admit, but uh, this is basically a weekend project. The challenge I put onto myself is to build a robot with just the parts that came with that kit, which is, it comes with a motor like this, which is typically used for making robots, but it does not come with a gearbox. And of course, this will be too fast to connect to an actual wheel without a gearbox. It comes with the standard motor, which is the, what, what you saw propel this, but only one of these so you can't really make that robot where you you know you, you use two wheels and depending on whether you turn what turn both or turn one it will be able to turn so i need a steering mechanism and so these are the two motors that came through it i did not end up using this one but yeah it's uh, actually working and you saw the remote control i use for the calculator so there's the the ir receiver right here and there's a stepper motor driver and this shield here is simply to hold the breadboard you know, like this and this whole thing is basically a shield that goes onto the um, Arduino that comes with it and so yeah so this is a 3D model I did in Fusion 360 and well, let me get rid of these catch lines so the way I had in mind is basically the servo is going to move this little arm back and forth and that's going to move this whole moving axle or whatever and that's how it's going to steer and on the bottom since we don't have any wheels at all I 3D print this and I 3D print these little I don't know little domes that's just basically going to skid around the table so <laughs> hopefully it works I was watching Adam and Simone talking about building and how Simone basically just start building things so that's my inspiration for this. I just start doing it and it may work, it may not, but I'm having fun making it. So I printed this and it took like six hours while I was sleeping and in the morning I, and I got this and it actually does spin. So this is uh, my prototype and you can see how that thing works. So there is a piece in here that is captured inside that outside one and that's how it becomes rotating and it doesn't come out. And this is the coolest thing about 3D printing. Of course, you can't make this in any other method. You can't laser cut this. You can't injection mold this because, you know, the only way you can make this is by 3D printing them layer by layer. And I learned this from Maker's Muse. When you make, when you make something that has this kind of thing and you want it to freely rotate and to avoid the elephant's foot in here, you want to put a little chamfer there. And that's what I did. And that really helped. I probably should have put a chamfer on this side too, but... I was worried about it being uh, not thick enough, so I left that there. After I printed it, there's a couple pieces that kind of stuck. I just use an X-Acto knife to cut it free, and it works. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any ideas on how I could improve this, which I'm sure there's a lot, leave it in the comments, and we'll make it better. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! <laughs>